Hello everyone. So, uh, if you recently have this uh, privilege to work with this cutting edge technology called Mud Blazer, then you might uh, uh, find out that it is uh, a little bit tricky to find out answers uh, from uh, Chat GPT and uh, Stack Overflow as well. So, in this video, I will uh, show you how you can implement uh, um, data grid component, which is uh, basically providing you all the table component table functionalities that you might want in a data table uh, with uh, we have uh, filtering, sorting, searching and pagination. So in as a starting point, uh, this is uh, what I am going to use. This is the template, uh, which is what you get when you create a Mud Blazor web app uh, uh, project in uh, Visual Studio. So let's uh, look into the code. We have basically uh, this uh, weather table. So here we have the Mud table, which is having this data source uh, weather forecast. Uh, and uh, let's uh, replace this with uh, Mud data table. Uh, now in order to get the data from the server we will use server data property and using the http client we will make uh, this api call to get our weather data and here we have the server data property uh, which is basically having this uh, function uh, that is going to run every time we perform uh, uh, filter search or pagination operation so uh, here by default uh, filtering is uh, disabled. Uh, I have used the uh, filterable uh, property to uh, enable it and in the load weather data function basically it provides us with all uh, the grid state uh, that will contain all of the uh, current uh, state of the grid like uh, the filter parameter, page, uh, sorting parameter uh, Let's take our uh, data source uh, in a variable and uh, uh, generate the grid data object. So in the grid data object, we will have the items uh, first uh, sorted by uh, this sort definition. And then uh, we will use keep and take to implement uh, pagination. And also we will have the length of our uh, data source. To simulate uh, server latency, we will use delay and uh, return the data. So every time uh, with this function runs, uh, the data table uh, like this data grid will uh, re-render. With it, uh, our uh, server side uh, sorting and uh, pagination is done. Now, if you want to get individual uh, sort columns and direction, then uh, you can uh, easily fetch it like this from the grid state. For now, we will just uh, uh, print it in the console. And similarly, for uh, sort, uh, filtering, we have uh, um, filter definitions. So uh, we can use these filter definitions uh, and uh, uh, generate our predicate functions that will that we can use to filter our data source. And with this uh, change, uh, we are successfully completed. Uh, our field, uh, server side uh, sorting, pagination and filtering. Now as you can see every time you perform any action it will uh, um, invoke that delay and uh, that will uh, um, enable the loader automatically. You can also filter. So here we have the columns, uh, operators and the value. Now, next we will implement uh, searching functionalities. So, let's go to our uh, VS code. For searching, uh, first uh, we will uh, have a variable to hold our search term. And then uh, we will add uh, a text field in the toolbar to uh, which will basically uh, call a function every time we update anything in the uh, text field. So this function will uh, have some getter and setter block. In the get, uh, we will just return the search term, and in the set, uh, we will uh, set the search term. And also to update the table, uh, we will have we will just uh, take the table uh, reference in a variable, and we will attach this variable with our data grid. Then uh, we can use this variable to call the load server data which will basically call the load weather data function which is attached to this uh, 
uh, server data attribute so in the load weather data we will uh, filter it uh, again uh, via this uh, search term so here uh, the search term if the search term does not exist uh, or like if it is null or empty then it will return everything but otherwise it will return uh, only uh, with a specific uh, forecast that will uh, contain this search term so with that our uh, server side searching is uh, done as well yeah so that's it uh, for this video you can uh, find out all the code from our github repository thank you for watching